What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video. Fuck out of here, Mosquito. Today we're going to be listening to Holy Hell by Architects. Uh, the last album that we listened to by them was All of Our Gods Have Abandoned Us. And that was probably like the first time that I cried during a reaction video. Just super heavy, really beautiful stuff. Uh, and, and it was mostly written by... His name is uh, Tom Searle, right? The guitarist of Architects who passed away due to cancer. And so this is sort of their tribute album to him. So I'm sure it's going to be, you know, also kind of a heavier project. It's going to be really beautiful to listen to. Uh, and I'm still expecting the, the instrumentals to be sort of that like uh, metal, really nice arrangements with the, the heavy guitars playing along with the kick drums and really deep bass lines, just powerful, you know, instrumentals. Should be really, really cool. So I'm excited for the video and I hope you guys are too. Uh, this was also a special request from Arcados, so dude, thank you so, so much for supporting the channel and requesting the project. That, as always, means a whole lot to me. It helps me to keep making these videos, so uh, I really appreciate you for making this shit possible, man. Um, I really, I, I want to ask you guys to bear with me for a, a couple minutes as I do, a, not even a couple minutes, as I do the plugs, and then we will just dive headfirst into the project. So, like I said, uh, this was a special request from Arcados. And if you have an album that you really want me to react to, you can specially request as well. If you send in a $30 donation using the Streamlabs link that is in the description of the video, uh, and for those of you that are in the chat, it's pinned at the top of the chat. That is just one of the best ways to support the channel. That money goes directly to my PayPal account. There's no YouTube taking a cut or anything like that. Uh, and it's a great way to guarantee that you get a reaction video that you're really interested in seeing from me. I do have a queue of albums right now, so it won't be uh, immediate. I won't be able to get to it immediately. But I think right now we have maybe like the queue is like a week long. So still relatively quickly. Uh, and I do get to those as soon as possible. I really appreciate that. Uh, another great way for you to support the channel, if you don't really have a video, a specific video in mind, is to support the channel by becoming a patron. Everybody in the $5 tier and above, and anybody who is also a member of the channel in that $5 tier and above, gets access to early, uncut, ad-free videos the day that I record them. Uh, although if, it, if it's a really late recording, it'll be like early the next day, because it takes a little time to process on Google Drive, but I digress. Um, and you also get access to any videos that end up blocked on the YouTube as well due to copyright. So that's also a great way to support the channel. I really appreciate all of the patrons of the channel that help me to keep making these videos possible, man. It really, really means a lot to me. The fact that you're willing to uh, support the channel monthly is just huge. Uh, the other ways that you can support the channel are by following me on Twitch. You get to watch these videos live as I record them. And if you're a YouTube viewer, I really appreciate you. Most of you guys are YouTube viewers. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not done that yet. So I'd really appreciate that as well. And uh, thank you for bearing with me. Let's jump into this project. Like I said, this is Holy Hell by Architects. Track one is Death Is Not Defeat, which is already a fantastic title for the first song. Um, the first song of the project. Hold on, let me... I actually want to get onto this screen right here. All right, let's do that again. Uh, we're going to be jumping into, like I said, Holy Hell by Architects. The first track is called Death Is Not Defeat, which I think is a fantastic title track uh, or uh, first track, introductory track. It is a great title to the introductory track of the album that you are making as a tribute to your uh, fellow bandmate who passed away tragically. So that's what I was trying to say. I got that out there. <laughs> I can't wait to jump into this. Let's get into it, guys. Oh, I wasn't expecting them to hit us with the strings immediately. That arpeggio string is nice. Oh my god! Is the guitar playing the same melody the strings were playing? I think it is! Wow. 
Wow. Fantastic vocals. That upper harmony is insane. I don't know how he's hitting those notes. He's a great singer, dude. That last segment was the holy, this is the hell. Oh. Turn this shit up, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. I'm addicted to those strings. Cello lingering there for the outro. Oh, that's sick, dude. What a smash to open up the album. Wrong this shit is. I wasn't ready for the Wow, dude, this is like he's drowning. Oh man, this is like somebody who is really going through it. Yeah, the riff on the left, fuck yeah. Well, uh, actually, the eye of the storm is the safest place for you to be.
Jokes aside, that shit is hard, man. Oh, I'm so sorry this happened to him, man. This is so depressing. It sounds so good, though. I'm conflicted. Toms with the kick drums, dude. Oh my god. Well, actually, that's the floor drum. The way the guitar kind of like slides into the riff. Yo. They keep hitting me. I need air, bro. I can't breathe. <laughs> It does sound like he's trying to reach Tom, man. Yeah, I was, and that's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say, they're giving this so much effort that I'm sure Tom heard it, man, and he's very, very happy with this tribute. I would be if this was made for me, dude. This shit is epic. Oh wow, starting the song with that line. Starting the song with that line is actually so much deeper than even just, I, the, just the line itself. Like I guess we're mortal after all because it, it kind of leads us to believe that Tom had the rest of the band thinking maybe we're immortal. That's how much of an impact he had. You know, that's how larger than life he was and the fact that he passed caused the band to realize oh shit you know we're actually mortal like this the, he he kept the band feeling powerful and strong like they were immortal and his passing led them to believe that they're just human after all that's like so strong for you to have that kind of an impact on somebody you know that's crazy <laughs> Yeah, that is very sad, but I mean, they would not have gotten there without him, you know? And I don't know who's playing the guitars, but they are doing Tom justice, man. Just killer. Absolutely killing this. Doomed to face infinity is powerful. The writing on this 
so far has been very, very good as well, just like the last album. Oh man, that was brutal. Yeah, they are. Yeah, I love that the snare was playing on the ones and threes there. They brought it back. Just added tension for a few seconds. Holy shit! the stream, but I'll be free next week. I Here's a Zarface double feature. Zarface meets Metal Face and Zartificial Intelligence. Tepa, you're the GOAT, dude. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, I've realized you were probably really busy this week. You, you haven't been around. I was wondering where you were at, man. Uh, I'm sorry you can't stay for the stream, but thank you so much, and it's, it's great to hear that you'll be free next week. I'll be here, man, doing the same thing as always. I'll see you then, man. Have a good weekend, and, uh, and thank you so, so much. This is ridiculously generous on your part, so thank you. That means a lot. I'll add those to the queue as soon as I can, man. Thank you, man. Also, super excited for Zarface, man. I get to jump into more projects that, uh, that I haven't really gained familiarity with the artist a whole lot, so that's, that's great. Thank you. Title track. Oh, it's faster paced like this? These guys rock so hard, man. I fucking love that. Holding on to this theme that they're sinners, man. They used they talked about that a lot on the last project too. That they're not worthy of salvation. Wow, that guitar riff, dude. Shit. His voice, I don't know. How is he still singing? He's gotta have mastered that technique. He would have lost his voice so long ago. It's so guttural, you know, and raw. The delivery is so emphatic and absolutely incredible. This might be like the most agonizing screams I've heard from him yet.
Exactly. Like, I'm... <laughs> I'm in the trenches with him at this point. This fucking song's gonna trigger my fight or flight response, man. <laughs> Holy shit. The double kicks here are so sick. Oh my god. The guitar. The violins. Holy shit. What am I listening to, dude? Mosquito got me right on my face, bro. God damn. This track is sick. I really have not heard him scream like that yet, I think. Not to the top of my head. Like, I can't. And the strings coming in at the end. So, like I said, on the last album, they also had a couple lines referencing, like, we're sinners and things like that. And, and here, he was talking about, like, uh, like not being able to be saved or, or like it's almost too late to be saved or is there's this like theme of of almost like not not being or not feeling not feeling worthy of salvation just because you know the last album and this one the the writers were in a very sad moment in a very like depressed state of mind and so man is that relatable you know just just feeling like you're lower than low like you're you're not worthy of uh, well, on the last album, they were questioning whether there even was a salvation to begin with, you know? That was really, really interesting, too, but just the sense of not feeling worthy of peace, not feeling worthy of, of, um, of a, a sort of uh, restful kind of, a, you know, any kind of a peaceful afterlife, feeling like it's too late for you. Um, and that, that can be very not just depressing, but it can leave you very desperate. It can be very terrifying. And so it's, it's that context and that if, if God is real, then he must hate us. I have unironically uh, said similar things in drunken rants. <laughs> so I get it, man. I get the sensation. I get the feeling, which is why, maybe why it's, it's resonating so much with me. But it's, it's that whole context paired with the absolutely mind-blowing delivery of, of Sam Carter. Just an outrageous singer. You know what I mean? In the best way possible. It's ridiculous that he's able to do what he does with his voice. I'm loving this. Like, this is... T like, topper than top tier. <laughs> As I was saying earlier too, if this was a tribute to me, I would feel so honored because of how great this sounds. Another banger line, dude. We sow the wind and reap the storm is such a great line. The writing on this is so good. Oh, that was a great fill. The drummer is such a beast. Yeah, just probably one of the lasting impacts that he left on the band. They probably learned a lot from him in terms of songwriting. Oh, 
Wow. Damnation is just a daydream away. Fuck, dude, I love that. Strings on my left ear, I'm loving that. Fantastic song. The writing on that one is probably some of my favorite writing on the project so far. Too many memorable lines that really hit me. Wow. The drop is so sick. It's ourselves that we will betray. Are you ready? 
I understand you saying that this one had to grow on you. This one is as good as it is. I think the weakest one so far. That's a great line. The outro is actually really selling the song to me. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Great song, Arcados. It's very good. The, the emperor wears no clothes. I see those brittle bones, but we're buried by modern misery. Dude, this guy. <laughs> Who wrote that shit? And why didn't I come up with it? That is brilliant to me, dude. What's good, King Joker? Hey! The drummer's Tom's brother? Dude, what a monster! I like that the pace picked up there. I don't know why I did this, but... I love this. The breakdown is so tight, and then the way that the energy kind of picks back up, the writing, very epic moment, the slow, epic thing, epic moment right here is great. something so ominous about this, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, there's some more climate change bars there.
Oh, that is so, so nice. The way all the music just came back in. Wow, I love this song. This is one of my favorites. Wow. That's one of the best songs, man. And I love that we used to run with the wolves hook. I could listen to it on a loop. It's a great song, dude. So lost in this. That is so hard. Another quotable. So many fantastic lines on this project, dude. We're not long for this world, no cloud can catch me now. I gotta write this shit down, dude. I gotta write this shit down. These are captions. <laughs> you wanna sound like a boss? Talk that shit. Say that clouds couldn't catch up to you. I love the disgust when he goes, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Enough pressure will create a diamond. I think I've heard that line uh, phrased different ways, but it is true. I used to be able to crack my neck. Now I'm afraid to do it. That's how you know you're getting old. Wow, man.
Dude, Dan is smashing the fuck out of those drums. What's good, one free booty pick? The filter on the guitar here. They add that filter for two beats, it's so sick. Oh shit, it's a fast song. I mean, it's a short one, so it's quick. Wow, that is heavy. I'm telling you, the, I don't know how he's... His voice doesn't give out, dude. Hey! That riff is unreal! The pads. It's such a sick riff, oh my god! The Doomsday riff became a meme? I don't blame him, that's a great riff. Strings coming in, that super atmospheric guitar pluck. This is amazing. I could tell why it's one of their most popular tracks. It's pretty obvious. Yeah, it's probably my favorite so far too. I can't believe what I'm hearing, dude.
brutal singing here on the outro. Man, this is great. This is the song that got my mom into metal. Yo, your mom is a boss, dude. God damn. My mom would <laughs> never listen to that. Your mom is a hero. <laughs> this is good stuff. Hey, listen, once a Bon Jovi mega fan, always a Bon Jovi mega fan, okay? That shit is for life. <laughs> That must have been a great concert, honestly. It does. Life comes at the cost of life itself. I love when they use the orchestral instruments, man. This is gorgeous. This is a great track. live a life worth dying for. Isn't that a callback to the last project? Didn't they have a similar line? If we're gonna call back to a line, that is a great one to call back to. What's up, God? I did not, God. <clears throat> wow, dude. Um, Holy Ghost, Nothing Lasts Forever is a fantastic line to end the project on. 
And man, what a project. I said it before, I'll say it again. If this was a tribute to me, I would feel so, so honored that my bandmates cared about me enough to come together in such a difficult moment. I mean, losing one of your closest friends is, I mean, that, that type of thing is like life altering, you know, it's earth shattering. It, it, that's the type of shit that will change you for life. And for the band and the group to come together and to put together such a, in, such an incredible work of art dedicated to me, like, I, I would feel tremendously honored. And I'm sure that Tom is, is very, very proud, you know, and extremely pleased with, with that, that album being dedicated to him because that is tremendous, tremendous. Like the, the, not just the arrangements and the incorporation and the inclusion of the, the strings more frequently and the very epic orchestral kind of sounds more often and the, the guitarist who replaced him absolutely doing his music justice, like just shredding it on every song. The drummer, his brother, killing it every track. I mean, they made use of the double, the double kick pedals on this album, I think, more than they did on the last one. And he was, I, I, I don't know how the kit didn't catch fire when he was playing that shit with the amount of friction that he must have generated. I don't know how he didn't lift off. You know what I mean? Like, just insane instrumentals. But Sam's voice on this is like the standout most unbelievable thing about this album to me. Like this, this album, as incredible as it is, as wonderfully you know, produced and arranged and mixed, uh, and, and the, the awesome context of dedicating it to their friend, which is so sweet of them and so nice of them. Sam's performance, I, I am, baffled by it like I'm literally awestruck by it like I like I, I don't I don't know I understand there's a technique to singing that way and not hurting your voice technique aside I don't know how even with the technique you don't walk away from the studio mute for the rest of your life like you know what I mean how like, how do you record this project and then manage to speak another word? You know, it doesn't make sense to me. With, you could have all the technique in the world. Those vocal cords sound so shredded. They sound so ag agonized, like they're in brutal pain. You know, he sounds like somebody who is literally being tortured in the fires of hell when he's delivering these, these songs, these performances like somebody who is genuinely in the deepest pit that they have ever been in in their life. And, and it is such a perfect performance. It's an incredible delivery on his part that I think despite all of the other incredible shit, that is the thing that I'm most impressed by on this project. He is, I think, uh, incredible. Like, like, inhumanly incredible you know what I mean like he was an angel took over his body and helped him to sing that album you know what I mean this one are all our gods so the writing on this one was also very good this one felt he uh, sonically heavier like more violent than all our gods all our gods I, I, I feel like had a couple a couple more mellow moments inter interspaced between some of the um, heavier moments in the album. Uh, I think All Our Gods, again, but uh, really based on the fact that, that Tom wrote it with that, I, I mentioned it at the end of the last reaction, uh, that perspective, that unique perspective that only someone who is in the tail end of their life uh, can come to have is so interesting and made for such insane songwriting uh, that I, I, I have to give it up there. But I think maybe instrumentally, this might actually take the cake. Like this is very, very impressive 
Um, I can totally understand why they blew up with these two albums, you know? When you take into consideration the, the impeccable arrangements here, the inclusion of the orchestra and Sam's delivery, I think musically this one might be better, but lyrically I prefer All Our Gods. And it has the whole like questioning religion theme that I relate to, like that one hit a little different for me. I cried to it, you know, like it was very, very special. Um, very special project. So I think I, think I want to give it to All Our Gods for that. But musically, I do have to say Holy Hell sounds like even better. Favorite probably has to be Doomsday. Like I think that that, that was just, you know, awesome. Um, I really can't pick a least favorite, honestly. Probably Royal Beggars. Royal Beggars might be my least favorite, but like you said, that one's kind of a grower. Was it Royal Beggars? Um, but there was another one that, before I heard Doomsday was my favorite, that was like a standout. It might have been Dying to Heal. That was just like quotable, 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 quotable. Just like, ins I think that was Dying to Heal. Just awesome song. But then I heard Doomsday, and Doomsday has to take it, for sure. For sure. Mortal After All, after all yes, absolutely. Death Is Not the Feet. like starting the album with that was so good. It's a fantastic project, like cover to cover. Um, if I recommended that you listen to that last one, you, you gotta listen to this one as well. It's like a double feature, you have to do both. Don't just do one, <laughs> you know what I mean? Those are my thoughts. I think this is fantastic. Like, I, yeah, the essential project. If you're into the genre, if you're a fan of, of, of um, you don't even have to be like a metal head. If you, if you like powerful instrumentals, if you like energy, if you like, you know, uh, moving instrumentals, like give this a listen. It might be for you. You might be surprised. You might surprise yourself with how open you are to something as intense as this, for sure. Uh, never, never, you know, discard something just because it's in a genre that you're not comfortable with. Give it a listen, see if you like it. The lyrics are absolutely incredible. Um, those are my thoughts. So, with that said, Arcardos, thank you so much for putting me onto this, this group and these two projects. Uh, these are albums that I'll probably carry with me for the rest of my life, for sure. And, um, and thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all so much. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, stay safe, take care of yourself as always. Peace out.